This team was the first team to engrave on it, but the cup was first awarded in 1893. So what they had to do, they started working backwards. So 1907 was here, then they put 06, 05, 04, 03, and they got to 02 and all of a sudden they ran out of room, and they still hadn't got the first winner on. So they moved it down, they made the cup this big, and the first winners are actually right here. So 1893, 94, it goes all the way up to 1902, and it goes up here. So over those years, the cup began to grow until it looks like what it is now. But what is great about it is when you win it, when you win the cup, and the Bruins will go right there, you're going to stay on it for close to 55 years. And how that happens is when this ring gets full, we'll remove this ring and that'll get retired as the hockey all day. We'll slide the others up and add a new ring to the bottom. And keep tapping. So, a guy like Mark Rack, you might not know this one. Come off when Tyler's taking it. Might be. Right, so the bros will be here, 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 yes. here, and there. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be here, here, here. Yeah, right. So uh, last time the Bruins won in the 70s, 72. Right here. Right here. But it, what is neat about the 72 team is you look at the Boston Bruins, I see it. they are accused of not going to run away. Human error in it sometimes. But Must have been a Canadian fan. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, they're part of history now. <laughs> but like everything else, human error happens, and it happens on the Stanley Cup too. The engraver, who is a fourth generation silversmith, her dad did it, her granddad did it, her great-granddad did it. They've been the only ones that have been the Stanley Cup. Where is that done? That is done in Montreal. And it's actually going uh, to start being green yeah. Wednesday morning. This oh, is wow. the last day today. Wow. <laughs> Just heading back to Toronto, then going to Montreal. And going to get to yeah. So when the cup comes back at the end of September, it'll be engraved. The guys will see their names on it for the first wow. time, nice. which That's is nice. pretty emotional. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really special because when they usually have their family and friends there with them when they see it, yeah. and they get to see their name on there and it's yeah. on there forever. But some other neat things on here: the Canadians won the cup five times in a row in the 50s, 56 to 60. What is great about it is Jacques Plante was the goalie at the time. If you look here, there he is, the first year on there. It says Jay Plante. The second year he won, it says Jacques Plante. <laughs> the third year he won, it says Jake Plante. <laughs> the fourth year he won, it says Jocko Plante. The fifth year he won, it says Paul Nate. So, why that happened, I don't know. Is, uh, I never asked him, I've asked his wife, and she didn't know why. But, when the errors happen like that, there's nothing to make yeah, right. Probably the most famous one of all is right here. The Oilers won their first cup in 1984. Peter Poppleton was the owner of this right. And they won it on Father's Day. And he thought it'd be great if he could add his dad's name to it. It wasn't part of the team. So at that time, you would set, submit the team roster to the silversmith of the silversmith. Just a great yeah. It used to be on your honor system. Well, it's not yeah, anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> because his uh, dad's on it. He's on there, so he's an X'd out. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, it yeah. is. Oh, wow. There's X's all over. Oh, my oh, god. Oh, man. So, 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 you must love that. <laughs> they were going to play the cover. Since that, the team now has to send the list to the Hockey Hall of Fame and the NHL offices that you're on. Yeah. They have to go to the <laughs> yeah. every name. So there can be 55 names goes on one thing. 
we'll have the Bruins list tomorrow, actually. And then we'll have it at fall. Nice. And probably the best of all, it's the biggest shot class in the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you say fill it up? What? Can we put it in here? Can we have it down? Oh, my God. Okay, if he's doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs>